next one is electromotive force and uh, before going to learn about electromotive force let me remind you about uh, battery this is sorry dry cell and in a dry cell uh, what will be there carbon positive electrode will be there and zinc negative electrode will be there like that cathode and anode will be there or not and yes. apart from this apart from this cathode and anode electrolyte play, paste will be there in it and uh, generally electrolyte will undergo disassociation and after disassociation what happens positive ion and negative ions will be formed and to push those positive and negative ions some force is required or not suppose electrolyte paste is there it is reacted with some material and after reaction positive ions produced and negative ions produced and those positive and negative ions must be pushed towards respective electrode or not to get the current yeah. right that push whatever is there will come from chemical energy and that particular push of charges to the respective electrode generally will be called electromotive force what it will be called electromotive force that means whatever the charges are there to make them to move we are applying some force and that force may come through chemical energy or it may come through any other energy form but here electromotive force means what the force which is responsible to make charges to move will be known as what electromotive force actually so now generally electromotive force will be there for any kind of a electric source for any kind of electric source what will be there generally emf will be there and this emf will be measured by one unit and that unit is nothing but volt now have you seen dry cell dry cell observe carefully on that particularly one value will be given and that value is 1.5 volt and this 1.5 volt is only electromotive force of that particular dry cell actually so electromotive force always will be Sir? measured by volt actually generally emf will be measured in terms of what volt actually now we are saying force for a force what unit will be there generally newton will be there but we are measuring electromotive force in uh, which terms voltage terms so that's why yes. you need to know about a particular definition related to electromotive force which you learn in your higher classes but here it is enough what is enough the force which is responsible for the charges to move is known as electromotive force but that electromotive force will be measured by which unit volt okay so emf of dry cell generally will be how much 1.5 volt okay we are learning about electric current and in electric current generally what happens charges will move and uh, the passage of or uh, the flow of negative charge is only called electricity and uh, generally that electricity that means uh, electric current whatever will be there and this electric current will be measured by one unit and that unit is ampere and uh, on every particular electric device it will be written that how much current it will give suppose if you see battery on battery it will uh, uh, written uh, like this one amp that means one amp means what one ampere of current it produces and what will be the emf of it 1.5 volts so like that it will be given on each and every electric device they will give electromotive force value of it and apart from that how much current it gives so those two will be given on every electric device is it clear now electric current will have which unit ampere very good ampere again 
electromotive force priscilla volt volt very good so electromotive force volt electric current ampere and generally the device which is used to measure this electric current will be called ammeter and generally emf i said whatever emf will be there for any device that emf will be measured by one more device which is called sorry which is called volt meter not volt volt is a unit voltmeter is a device which is used to measure emf 